Coming up, stellar purchase. What was that? I can already smell oil. Here's a tip. Upgrade your brake fluid with coffee juice. That is ridiculous. It's just a tad neglected. Hello. Hi. Looking for a bird? No, I'm just doing YouTube videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a beautiful dog. Thank you. <laughs> How old is he? Or she? Hi. 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 You're so beautiful. <laughs> He's a Cape Cod dog. He's, he's very so soft. young. Oh. Off. He's my dream dog. Like, he's very independent. Oh. Come on. Oh. Bye. Bye Thank nice you. meeting you. Bye. Beautiful, isn't it? Hello and welcome to the US road trip special with a cheap, broken BMW M3. Yes, M3 this isn't. My better half and I are on vacation in beautiful United States of America. I'm currently coming to you from Cape Cod. Behind me is the little lake, better known as the Atlantic Ocean. Yesterday we were in Boston and today we're gonna make our way to New York, then Pittsburgh, and then we're gonna fly out to the west coast of the United States. This bucket of cheap plastic is all right here. And the thing is, I don't want another dreadful, uncomfortable, based on the E-Class from 500 years ago rental. I need oil leaks. I need check engine lights. So I did the smart thing and purchased sight unseen a neglected 2001 E46 M3 with a six-speed manual. We are planning to drive from Salt Lake City, Utah, where the car is located, to California, to Los Angeles, to Santa Barbara, to San Francisco, and back to LA. That's roughly around 1,500 miles. And before the car can cover such distance, it needs work. So on this project, I'm working with Beamer World, who is kindly providing with all of the parts necessary to make this project possible. I reached out to them, told them what I was doing, and it turns out they are fans of the channel and they were immediately on board. I sent him a massive list of parts one week prior to my departure and despite me being picky with parts, they managed to deliver everything in time and just make the whole project feasible. Amazing experience, amazing group of people and we're going to talk about them more and what they do once we arrive to Utah as we have four big boxes of parts waiting for us there. Sure you're going to miss Cape Cod. Absolutely beautiful here. My first time on the East Coast and I'm loving it. Got to come back. Mi amor, let's go! A while back I posted my plans on my Patreon page and the generosity and kindness of this amazing community that we built here know no bounds. Patreon and a legend named JR who lives in Salt Lake City offered to assist with everything and anything during my time there. From lending me his car, storing all of the parts and putting me in touch with his friend John and Brandon that have a nice two car garage with tools, quick jack and wrenching experience. Unbelievable hospitality and I can't thank them enough for their help. Having toured New York City and Pittsburgh, we are catching an early flight to Salt Lake City. Wheels up at 6 a.m. My favorite time to wake up and be useless for the rest of the day. Then we are going to meet Ivan, a subscriber and seller of the car, grab the M3 and drive straight to John's garage and start wrenching. We only have that day to change as many parts as we can and get the car ready as we need to start driving to LA the following day in order to stay on schedule. I'm Stratton, nice to meet you. I'm Ivan. Hi, nice to meet you, Ivan. Uh, thanks for the pickup. Much appreciated. Oh, there it is. Hello, dogs. E46 M3. Finally, huh? Nice. So I have loads of pictures that Ivan sent me and the paint is in decent condition. As far as I can tell, it needs a good wash. We have brand new tires and I sent these to Ivan uh, last week and he had them mounted and installed because the tires were not that great. And these are Continental Extreme Sport all season tires. And I went for these because the price was really good and I know that these tires are super soft. I had them on my E39 530i in California and these are 19 inch wheels so it'll be good for the ride comfort side of it. Headlights, yellow, depot. Nice. Emblem is gone. This is gonna go. Missing a cover here. Missing the shroud here. Thankfully I ordered all of that. Small crack in the bumper. And look how deep it's holding up. Look at that reflecting surface inside. That's why I love Depot. They're great. Great headlights and taillights and lighting in general. 
Man, the discs are rusty. Cowl is gone. The windshield is good. No cracks. So I think we're gonna need to do the rear brakes. Oh yeah, the lip is massive. So Ivan told me a lot of things about the car that he knows that are wrong with it. And plus you've done pre-purchase inspection, PPI. So based on that, I just ordered all of the parts and we're gonna start replacing things. Well, that sort of works. Imola red interior. Ooh, I didn't see this in pictures. Seat is split open, that's nice. Thankfully I brought a brand new steering wheel with me and the shift knob. Yeah, we're gonna have four people when we drive up to San Francisco. Well, the rear seats are not exactly spacious. So we have 140 something thousand miles, I think. Stop beeping. Yeah, 143,000 miles. That's nothing for this car. Let's check it out on the hood. Everything is here. We have Dyna and strut brace, which is cool. All right, I need to press the clutch. It lives. It's cold. Sounds like it has an exhaust leak. Huh. Definitely stock exhaust. This daylight is really bad. Thankfully I ordered all of that new. The emblem is bad as well, that I didn't order. The badge, actually the emblem I did order. The engine sounds peachy and this is a cold start. Secondary, everything is doing its thing. That's why it's really noisy. k and filter, that's gonna go. Tinted windows. Not a fan, but it is what it is. Are the tags renewed or you have them or we have to go to DMV? We got to do the tags right here at the Christensen. Oh, nice. <sighs> Not exactly spacious, is it? <laughs> no. Yeah, I think we can get one big suitcase in here and then the rest will have to go in the back seat. No. Is that, oh, that's a, that's a ski, ski thing, yeah. It's beautiful. This, Dirty inside, isn't it? We need to clean this. How much do you hate me now? Instead of renting a nice, newish looking rental car, we are driving in a old E46 M3 with a ton of miles. Oh, looks like I made a mistake. That window will never go up again. Oh yeah, that one is busted. All right, we're gonna follow Ivan. We're gonna go and do the tags. Tags for the car, for the license plates. Oh, the gear changes are really crunchy. Brake pedal is really mushy. Needs fresh fluid. Oh, the steering wheel is way off center. We need alignment. I can't close the window because the button is, film that, the button is, it's not cooperating. Yeah, I can only lower it. Something is clunking in the back. I can't raise the window. I think I can do it with the key. Yes. So let's not touch that window until we change the buttons. I don't know what we're doing at the tire shop. I guess they're gonna need like 20, 30 minutes to do the inspection, emissions and whatnot, and then renew the tax. Meanwhile, we're gonna go over there and eat something. I'm a little bit Disappointed that he didn't do this earlier because we talked about it. I told him I don't have a lot of time. Can you just get all of that done before I get here? So all good? Yeah, the, the problem though. What what is the problem? We got a temp I bought a temp tag, but pretty good, but the issue was I got a new battery on it. Alright. And it's not ready to read the OBD on it or whatever. Yeah, but why didn't you do this before? This is I thought you're gonna do this before I come here. Yeah. We talked about this. That kind of space in my bath. What now? So no, you still got you got a permit though. You can still drive it. But I have old tags on the car. But we have a permit, so we put this on the back of the car. Unless we drive the car around, and we can re we can still redo the tags, but we have to drive the car around to cycle it. This is why I wanted to do this before because of this exact same issue. Now I don't have time. Yeah. I know that 
we need to go on the highway i need to stick the car in the like third gear and just keep it there i've done this in the past and then all of the the stuff is going to be ready to read okay tell you what uh, i'm gonna put bags in the car i'm gonna drop off maria at her airbnb it's yeah. eight minutes from here we meet back here and then i'm gonna come back here and uh we can do whatever we'll else we need to do All right, spacious M3, everything is in. You have one big bag in the trunk, two small ones, and one big bag on the rear seat. So we got temporary tags because he changed the battery. Uh, and when you pull the battery, it's gonna reset all of the modules. And when they do inspection here, they plug in a computer and they need to re read the emissions and whatnot, the O2 sensors. And in order to reset all of that, I need to drive the car on the highway, basically keep it in third gear or get it up to operating temperature. Right now it's not at operating temperature. So just drive it like 10 minutes on the highway, get it nice and warm and then come back and then they can redo the inspection. And I think we're going to have a stuck, up, stuck open thermostat, but let's see. Everything is so slippery, whatever you touch. I hate that. Even the letter, like I'm sliding in the seat. Oh, I think the front brakes are shot as well. But at least it runs and drives. There's that. Oh, that's perfect. Film that. Nice. Never seen that before on E46. Oh, look at the brakes. Look at the steering wheel. Yeah, this is why I wanted eighth and inch wheels. Ninth inch is too much for this car. He told us we can use the left side of the driveway. Cigarette lighter is not working. Perfect. How are we going to charge stuff in here? All right, I'm going to go grab my power bank. Please stop beeping. So we're off to a great start. Now I'm going to hit the highway. I think we're just going to drive in second and keep the RPMs really high. And that way it'll get nice and toasty because the highway is not close at all. The car is a lot worse than I thought. Like a lot worse. I can already smell oil. I didn't check the oil level. Something is banging in rear right corner really badly. Coolant temp gauge is already in the middle. Yeah, second gear all the way. What was that? Yeah, something is seriously wrong with the rear suspension. This car, really bad condition, really bad condition. I'd love this if I were back in Frankfurt. But I'm not. I'm in Salt Lake City. I don't have a lot of time. Limited tools, limited parts. I can't fix everything that's wrong with it. Is the radio working? Yeah, the radio is working. The fan is not working though. Look at that view. Well, you can't because the camera is not pointing at it. Sport? Yep. Oh! Ho, ho. Third is not happy at all. So the temperature is dropping, which is telling me that the thermostat is stuck open. Oh, I think we have a problem with the third gear. That's nice. That's a bit better. Horrible, horrible steering wheel shake on the braking. So the front rotors are likely shot sorry car i'm gonna have to torch you a little bit second gear at 5000 rpm doing 40. it's right smack in the middle the oil temp gauge and the coolant temp gauge what a bucket this is we'll do the best of what we have here try and improve whatever i can clean it a little bit and then maybe we can figure out a knocking noise in the rear hopefully it's not the rear trail alarm bushings I don't have parts for that. Clutch is actually, the pedal is really firm. Should be a bit softer. But knock on, I don't have wood in here. The engine feels good. Pulls okay. Doesn't feel fast though, but I didn't push it that much. No check engine lights. It's always a plus. So I think in that department, we are good. We need to fix the top. That's not working and I really want that to work for California. Ivan told me 
there was one wire somewhere that he resoldered and then the top was working and now that wire is broken again and now it's not working so i need to see what's going on there okay and i think i'm doing 100 miles per hour given the sound of the engine it's just 40 doing the speed limit all right fingers crossed i'll let you know in a bit unfortunately we didn't pass the oxygen sensor readings are still not ready so now we're gonna hit the highway and i'm gonna drive it a bit harder or just go through all of the gears and basically running out of time as well it's already 240. what a stupid inspection this is doesn't matter that the car doesn't have brakes and barely drives what's important is that it doesn't have a check engine light suspension good no yeah it doesn't like the third gear Oh yeah, the thermostat is not good. Coolant temp gauge is going really down. And that's gonna be part of our problem and why we won't pass emissions. Well, the OBD test. It won't stay long enough at operating temperature to reset the oxygen sensor readings. There is a special and somewhat complicated and time consuming procedure to get the monitors in the ready state as you can see here but because the thermostat is stuck open there's no way to do that until it's replaced and the engine can stay at operating temperature. All right third time was not the charm it still didn't pass and I think it's because of the stuck open thermostat and the fact that it has store codes for coolant thermostat even though the check engine light is not on. So it is what it is. We're gonna have to drive with the temporary tags. I'm not really happy about it, but online it says we can drive out of state and it's valid for 30 days. So we're gonna take that. But we definitely need to do the entire cooling system. There's, there's no way around it. I was sure this was going to do it because I had the exact same issue on E46 ZHP 330CI in California. Thermostat was stuck open. I cleared all the codes. I went to get the smog done and the systems were not ready. So I went on the highway, I drove it for like 10-15 minutes in third gear, just rubbing the crap out of it so the engine is nice and warm, came back and passed the smog, no issues whatsoever. But in this case, issues. We're one minute away from John's garage. It is four o'clock. Not sure how much we're gonna be able to get done today, but we'll do our best. You know you come to the right place when there's an E46 M3 outside. It's a nice color. Hello, hello. Jason, welcome. Thank We're you. In the right place. Yes, I'm a bit late, so I apologize for that. Today is a uh, global circumstance. JR. Threaten, nice to meet you. Girlfriend Malia. Threaten, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Brandon. Threaten. Nice to meet you. John. Nice to meet you. Thanks, John, for well, yeah, welcoming me to your home. Yeah, no this is the third of the highest caliber. <laughs> like, I thought it was rough, but it's, it's rough. So this is the crew. That's John. Sorry, I forgot the name. Brandon. Brandon, and then JR and Mel, uh, are somewhere in, in the back grabbing the parts here. Quick jack for this type of garage. It's perfect. Yeah, are it makes it so much easier because you can crawl yeah. underneath the car and see everything. 20 seconds, two feet above the ground, I think it's great. Hear that? Oh, that's that bearings? That's, uh, uh, I think, trail arm bushings. Yeah, you're bushing. Shit, I didn't order that. So that's the big knock. They're not that bad. Oh, one lug nut, one bolt is missing oh. here. Excellent. Well, that's why we have an O'Reilly's a minute from here, so if we need new... Lines. Ah, bummer, man. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, that's what it sounds like when you drive it. You still drive it like that, it's just gonna drive me nuts. By the way, this is JR, a legend. So this is everything that Beamer World sent me. Four big boxes. And Beamer World has been in business since 1997, and they've been a huge part of this oil-leaking, rod-bearing spinning community ever since. 
all of their employees are into BMWs, they drive them, they fix them, they race them. On their website, you can buy genuine BMW parts, as well as OE, OEM, aftermarket, performance and racing parts, which coming from Europe is simply unheard of, as I have to shop at least at two different places to get everything I need. They've been extremely helpful with this project from start to finish, and I truly appreciate their support. All right, so I have a complete set of rear taillights. We need to do that because they're shot shot. Control arm bushings, but I think they seem fine. Floor mats, small parts. Man, my local dealer doesn't pack parts as well as this. So these are the fog lights, but I don't know if they're cracked. I just know typically they're always cracked. So I usually start by removing the oil filter. I was gonna say, like while you do the oil, I can start yeah, ripping yeah. your wheels off. And yeah, do it, go for it. Think we can do the cooling system now? Yeah. Yeah? I haven't done it on the e E46 M3, but I've done it on E39 M5, which is a bit trickier than this one, I think. Uh, it's the same principle, so this yeah. is a thermostat housing, you have to yeah. get it out. <laughs> the front rotors, I, don't, I wonder if they'll clean up if I just do like the bedding process again, but. Oil leaks? Oh, wow, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, have you ever seen that before yeah. in a BMW? <laughs> really unusual, huh? No, that's super weird. While they're removing the tires and stuff, I'm gonna start tearing apart the everything around here because we're going to do the cooling system as well what, what happened missing a bolt as well so we have two missing bolts uh oh i lost that it's <laughs> a so can filter i don't like these because they're always full of junk and no one ever cleans them yes so in here the rotors look fine it doesn't have a lip and the pads are really thick so I think if I do the bedding in process, it should be fine. Control arm bushing, that looks good. So this one looks really bad. Um, it's really rusted. So this is probably gonna be our culprit. The oil is draining? Yeah, it's How does it look like? Really black? I haven't seen it, it's pretty dark though. John is gonna do the rear brakes. It's pretty bad lip on Pretty bad lip and the pads are not too bad. But this is the issue that we have. That is completely gone, the rear trail arm bushings. Look, look at that, it's hitting metal over there, metal and metal. Hence the sound. So I ordered new shocks as well for the rear. You can see here the dust boot, it's completely gone. But they're not leaking, but I'll bet anything they're gonna be bad. How does this work? You can't remove this without removing the hose? You can't get rid of it, yeah. But I wanted to pull the shroud first. You got that tool? So that's to hold the water pump, yep. I think it's 32 mil. I think I got it. Yep. I think there's a fourth screw down there. I'm gonna go underneath, remove the... The bottom Yeah. So here's what we have underneath. Oil leaks, standard feature. Well, the oil pan gasket, oil filter housing gasket, possibly wall cover. But we're gonna have to ignore all of this for now and just focus on the cooling system, belts, pulleys, brakes, and just the safety items. Oh yeah. That one is wow, bad. I didn't yeah. see I didn't look that bad when I was looking wow. at it right on. Yeah, that one is done. Well now you should come out. This oh another one. All right, it's through. Yeah, it's don't forget the fan. Yep, yep. This is the original fan clutch, you definitely need to change that. So we have a lot of things going on at the yeah, same time. So these are the brakes that Beamer World sent us. Nice. There you go. Paget. Look at good discs. Lovely. A little side by side. <laughs> yeah. Subtle difference. And OE Techstar pads. That's gonna go on perfect. I think now I'm gonna disconnect the, the hose, yeah, right? Just get this out. Yeah, and then pull it out. Those can be a pain sometimes. Yeah, it goes everywhere. It goes everywhere and if they're seized on there. Oh, you got it out already? Yeah, yeah that's going everywhere. <laughs> hey, at least it's blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, sh**. That, that sucks. I think... Same exact thing happened to me. I crap, I don't know if I ordered this one or not. Now we're in trouble. Let me, let me look through the box. Crap, I didn't order it. Uh, to like glue plastic together. I don't think that's going to hold. Yeah, for paste, but I can't figure out the term right now. Epoxy? Yeah, epoxy, yeah. Yeah, we need this line. I can't plug it either. Yeah, no. yeah this is only a genuine part. 
Yeah. So there's no way I can, we're gonna find that locally. All right, so then let's get this line out and then maybe you can get started on the epoxy, I don't know. We got nothing to lose by trying. Well. Right into the bucket. Oh, you didn't unhook the, I thought you unhooked the hose. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was surprised. Like, how did you pull that off that easily? Cause this hose is never easy to pull off. Come on. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Here's the clamp. Okay, the bolts are off. <sighs> All right, that's the thermostat and the water pump now. Ah. Uh, because of the water pump, yeah. Oh, is that the unit? I don't know. So it looks good. Mine is the oil leaks. So we're going to replace these O-rings here, clean the surface and get the new pump in. All right, here are the coolant system parts. We have the upgraded upper and lower coolant hose. This is silicone, so it's going to last a lot longer than the stock hoses. Expansion tank, coolant, water pump with metal impeller, brand new thermostat, metal gasket. So this is all ready to go in and of course, new O-rings. Oh Man, the brake cleaner smells different here. It smells Smel different? It smells like acetone or something like that. <laughs> that's basically what it is. Yeah, that's basically. <laughs> yeah, but in Germany, like the one at least that I get, it's, there's no acetone in it. Really? Yeah. Hey, it still works. All right, new ring going in. All right, maybe you can hold the lamp here while I Finagle the pump in, O-rings new all around. Tricky bit is holding the gasket in place, I guess. Yeah. He wants to slip out. I think that's in. Yeah, let me see if I can get this pipe in. Oh, oh that's in. You got a torque wrench? You do, right? Yeah. 10 Newton meters for the water pump. Okay, I'll go by hand now, because we can usually feel that better. Water pump done. Now the thermostat, yeah. New gasket. <laughs> Thermostat and water pump done. We have this pulley here new. All right. It's crazy. The bell goes there, there. Brand new belt and pulleys are on. All right, belts reinstalled. So we have brand new fan clutch, OE bear, and brand new fan blades as well. So how did the epoxy thing work out? If that doesn't work, I don't know what we're gonna do. Take the one off the other end. Pretty much stuck. Yeah, you can take mine. Your car? I don't, I don't need that. Car. I'll take the car. The fitment of these hoses is perfect. Yeah, yeah these are upgraded silicone hoses, so. Yeah, they, I think they step it, mm. they step it more than. And it's much easier yeah. to do this because of this thing here. Yeah, I like it. I did drop one clip in the engine bay. Oh, it's missing rivets all over the place, this car. Huh? Oh my God. So that's the brake fluid that came out of the car. That and is- We're still on the first one. That is ridiculous. This is probably original. <laughs> Easily over 10 years. Easily. I don't, I don't think it's been changed. Yeah. yeah, that's why brake pedal feel, well, well, it felt like a mushroom <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Ran your air filter. <laughs> Drink up. New filter. So I'm gonna take this out. Depot, if you have a hammer, I would like to smash that, but it doesn't matter. Corner just flung one out. We were the last ones there and he drove around for like five laps trying to find it. So if this were my garage, I would smash this into bits now. 
but I don't want to make a bigger mess than it already is. So these are OE ones from Magneti Morelli or AL Automotive Light. And these are not that expensive. And they look and perform much better than Depot. Smoked signals. Brand new original ones. That was nice and easy. So Brandon got the hose from his M3. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, no problem. And uh, pop that in and then the cooling system is done. So I wanna see if I can fix this headlight washer. Here's the new nozzle. Here's the cover, unpainted though, but it is what it is. Okay. Ah, there we are. That's fixed. All right, now we're gonna start with the windshield cowl because I can't take that with me, it's too, it's too big. It's pretty much already off. Do you have a vacuum cleaner, perhaps? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I think they're the same. It's just that they're... <laughs> so, brand new wiper blades. Hey, pizza dinner is on me. Use my credit card, please. Absolutely. Least I can do. Now I'm gonna crawl underneath the car and replace the transmission fluid. We are going with ATF from Liquid Molly, Top Tech 1100. This is what I run in all of my manual cars and it works a lot better than uh, MTF because this makes gear changes super smooth when the car is cold and it stays like that for many, many thousands of kilometers. Currently on my E39 M5, I have about 12,000 kilometers with this fluid and it works splendid. So we're gonna put that in the M3 as well. Do you have a big ratchet? And I think 17 mil. Right underneath the M3. Oh, perfect. The flux disc is shot as well. Yeah, it's full of cracks. But the diff is not leaking. Hey, that's something. The body is really good. Not a speck of rust anywhere. Get ready for a splash. Yuck. Fluid actually doesn't look too bad. So let the drain. Man, it's been a while since I worked underneath the car like this. Spoiled now with the lift and everything. Can you uh, grab another bottle? And slide it over, please. Yeah, just here. Thank you. All right, we got fluid overflowing. Whew. Okay, that's done. It's not gonna replace the blower resistor. The fans are not working at all, which is located over here. What the hell is this? Oh, oh. no. <laughs> It has ejected the headlight washer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Please tell me the GoPro caught that. And uh, <laughs> that wasn't the one that I did. I'm stuck. Ah, finally it's out. Yeah, garbage. Oh, wow. the same thing? Yeah, it is. Different design. I don't know, this is the original 101, and they always go bad. Yeah, it is garbage. Sometimes my AC will go out. And yeah. It's, it's complete pain to get to. Come on now, fit. All right, that's it. Let's see if the fan is finally working. Is it working? Yes! Wow, that's, that's it. Yeah, that's it. The fans are working. Awesome. That's done. All right, now you're gonna replace the taillights. Should be straightforward. Just pull this out. Three eight mil nuts. And this thing will come out. Bit of cleaning. Beautiful OE taillights by Ulo. That's the outer taillights done. Now we need to do the inner ones. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, sh**. <laughs> that was smashed into a million pieces. Oh, yeah, beautiful. All right, I think we're gonna try the taillights now. Brakes, working perfectly. Do the... Yep, that's working. Wait, that's weird. Do that again. Okay, that's weird. Wiring. It's wired wrong. Yeah. E46 had a recall for the taillights. Apparently the ground of the connector is not wide enough for the current load. The wire gets really hot, melting the connector and creating bad contact. I'll be fixing this a bit later down the road. For now, the left taillight has a fail safe where it uses a brake bulb as an indicator, which is legal in the States. Oh, yeah, it's coming out. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's out. New badge going in. Beautiful. All right, let's do the hood emblem and the kidney grills. I don't care if I break them. Watch out. Garbage. This is... And these are original kidney grills. Not aftermarket. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do the emblem. Yep. <laughs> uh, it's out. I need scissors and a zip tie. So a brand new window switch. All right, now we're gonna modify the shift knob. Cut it here. So this is trash. This is the ZHP one that I brought with me from Germany. It's not illuminated, but you know what also it isn't. Disgusting. Zip tie, get this boot in there. You see cleaning the hubs and rims? Yeah. You're a legend, man. <laughs> I clean them and put anti -seize. Nice, thank you. There we go. Yep, that's perfect. Uh, the center one is cracked, so I'm gonna replace it. Jesus. I've never seen someone break the center vent that bad. Go in. Middle piece. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's try it, Ruth. So, my so this is our issue with the, with the roof. That line, that wire was broken and then the guy resoldered it. We'll Redo it? Take that out. Take it out, put a new one. Yep. Perfect. So this is the beautiful steering wheel that I brought with me in my suitcase from Germany. Recovered in correct leather, which is textured. And I'm gonna swap this in because that's disgusting. And I also bought brand new bottom cover here. I hate this bit where I need to poke. Yeah. <sighs> Boom. They have a recall on those. Too. Yeah, he told me that this airbag is brand new. Oh, okay. And it looks brand new, which is good. Oh. <sighs> One beautiful steering wheel. Yeah, that ought to do it. Perfect. Now we can reconnect the battery. Cooling time. Take the cap off. Ignition on. Fan lowest. Temperature highest. And we need to crack open the bleed screw, right? And then the rest we can do with distilled water. Got anything else coming out? Yeah, it's still more bubbles. Gonna keep pouring then. Sounds good. So I tried to close it. Uh, hold it more, it didn't latch. Sound 
the rudders skipping back here. So is that full close on? All right. Stuff is happening. Nice. It's locked in? Yeah. Nice. Fully seated. Let's see if it closes. Beautiful, working top. I think that's it for tonight, huh? Yeah, it's down. Guys, I can't thank you enough for all of this. This is just amazing. For putting all this together and then dedicating your whole day to this. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you don't even know me, so. You know you're a car guy? Yeah. You're friends with JR, you're my friend. Thank you, thank you. Tomorrow I'm gonna come back collect all the parts and then we're gonna all go for breakfast. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Yeah, right. It's almost one in the morning. Well, <sighs> close to 24 hours straight. Yeah, close to 24 hours with no sleep. Then. Guys, thank you so much again. Good night, Trent. Oh, get to sleep. Sorry. I will. I'm gonna try at least some. Thanks so much. Yeah, no it matters this time. Thank it's you so much again. Things. Yeah. This was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Like without you, I don't know how I would pull this off. There's like no way. We'll pick this up tomorrow. Good morning. What a day yesterday it was. I was almost 24 hours without sleep and we got a lot of work done yesterday. Four big boxes of parts went into this car from Beamer World. Almost all of it. The only big item that we didn't do was the rear shocks, but I can do that myself because it's super easy and the car already looks so much better. Look at the front end, the kidney grills, new emblem turn signals would be nice if I can polish the headlights as well the fog lights are brand new and the interior looks so much better now as well because we have this spectacular steering wheel it just makes the whole interior now and it's like putting lipstick on a pig because everything else looks nasty and two big issues remain trailing arm bushings in the back this one here is super bad super loose you can hear it knocking all the time when I'm driving and the front brakes are shaking like crazy on the braking so the rotors are warped and I'm gonna have to figure that out on the road. We have to do trailing arm bushings. I can't drive the car like that and the front brakes and then I need to do wheel alignment and then it's actually gonna drive really nice. Now we're gonna head over to John's, vacuum up the interior, put fresh floor mats in it and then take them for breakfast and then we're gonna hit the road. I'm normally not into stickers, but these guys deserve it. Big thank you to these guys. I was working with Phil and Kevin from Bima World and they were super nice to work with because they know a lot about these cars and they knew exactly what I wanted from this project and which parts I needed. So massive thank you to Bima World and their team. Their help is much appreciated on this project. We just made a quick stop at Walgreens to get some stuff, but look at the view over there. Look at the mountains. It looks amazing. Really wish we had more time for Salt Lake City. All right, somewhere I just tried to enter a different car. I think that looks a bit different than M3, wouldn't you agree? Gearbox already feels a lot better with ATF, much smoother than before. Can actually get it into second gear. Coolant is already at operating temperature and it stays there. No matter what gear I'm in, if I'm driving slowly, it's gonna stay in the middle. So I think if I were to drive it now for the next 20, 30 miles, it would probably pass the emissions, but we don't have time for that today. More amazing mountain views ahead of us back at John's and the cooling system is definitely performing properly. Hi. Yeah, really good timing. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, trunk needs to be closed. If you have bags in the trunks, you can't open the top. This is the brake fluid. Started off from here and then it gradually got better and then we ended up here. So this fluid hasn't been changed in at least 10 years or so. Really bad. It's original Laguna Seca Blue. This one's not actually. 18 or 17? 18. 18. Yeah, those are rare. Man, what a nice car. 18 by 9 in the back. Oh, wow. You weren't kidding when you said that everything's yeah, yeah, Alcantara. Yeah. Everything. This was done really well yeah. as well. 
That's yeah, crazy. That's what I was saying. I thought this was factory, but it's no, not. no, 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 yeah. definitely not. It's yeah, it's it's nice. And it's been painted properly, yeah, like all yeah, of the jams yeah, and everything. Jams, everything, yep. And you have the dash covered as well. Yeah. Wow. And the uh, too. Wow. You sure, you don't want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> There's coolant from that hose yeah. from last night. Yep. So this is a real carbon fiber yeah, hood. This is a Saban trunk. Oh wow, it's really light, yeah. So there's the electric yeah, fan, that's so much better than fan clutch. Yeah. yeah, I tore this whole engine apart. So. Oh yeah, yeah. JR yeah, told me that you rebuilt it yeah. here in the garage, it's, which is amazing. It's factory internals, but just ARP hardware to, you know, encoded the back bearings. And mm -hmm. then I redid the Venos and then just keep it factory, but refresh everything. And So uh, this is all carbon as well? Yep, yeah, that's carbon too. Crazy. Oh, the, the brace. So reinforcement, huh? Yep. So I actually drilled through the trunk. It goes down to the subframe. Mm -hmm. And then I also reinforced the subframe with the plates. With the plates, yeah. So I welded those in. But these go to the shock towers. That's a permanent solution, yeah. especially if you want to drive fast and on the yeah, track. exactly. <laughs> nice. Really nice car. Got to take out the old floor mats. These are the brand new original floor mats for the M3. Comes with new, all these plasticky thingies. And this one goes in here. Oh, it fits perfectly. Yeah, I think I need that one. Yeah, this one, yeah. That looks so much nicer and it fits perfectly. So now I'm gonna go through the box and see which parts I'm gonna carry with me and which I'm gonna return. All right, so this is my toolbox from Amazon that I'm definitely gonna carry with me. Things in my hand are what we can use to transmute together license plate on the rear if you wish it. You're amazing. You. You're amazing. Absolutely. We need to do that. I think it's going to rain, huh? Yeah. Do you still shake when you hit the brakes? Um, a bit less, but I think I'm going to try to bed in the brakes on the highway. You know, do a yeah, few yeah, yeah. like... Hard stops. Well, I still your girlfriend think gonna that, like hmm? that. Your girlfriend gonna like that? Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, it's snowing actually. Okay, I gotta get the camera out of the way. That is the most incredible, perfect like Yeah, road trip, yeah. Now, That's why I wanted something else and not. Everything on the M3 makes sense. Yeah, I didn't wanna. Shipbox rental. Yeah, I, I didn't wanna rental, yeah. Mm. Rental will get us there for sure. But. So will this. A bit broken, but it'll get us there. That's perfect. All right, where are we going to go? Um, you guys suggest. Sunday's best to Maria. She thinks it's a great idea. Yeah, okay. that's cool. But first, I want to give another huge thank you to all of you yeah. for this. Yeah. No Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. This was absolutely amazing. The hospitality and everything. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, anytime. If you need anything from Europe, if you ever come to Frankfurt, Germany, please let us know. All right, now let's go grab some food. With this genuinely memorable time in Salt Lake City coming to an end, we are going to park part one of this journey here. In the following episode, we are going to drive 700 miles to Los Angeles with an overnight stay in Las Vegas and continue to fix the car on the road. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.